So today I'm going to show you how to set up an application controller for active implement guidance in a Gen 4 display. So to start out, your application controller is going to show up under the ISOBUS VT. If it doesn't show up for you right away, just click the main menu button in the bottom right and then select application controller. So first we'll do our SCV selection. So if we choose setup and control selection, if this weren't already populated here, we would go ahead and go through our list and choose implement steering as it already is. Um, typically that's going to be on SCV3. SCV1 is usually taken up by some kind of a frame um, function, but in this instance we're going to leave it on SCV1. So we'll go back to our main screen and then we're going to go ahead and calibrate our implement, uh, our implement wheel steering. So we're going to hit our main menu here and then we're going to go to implement steer setup and then we're going to go to wheel angle setup here we're going to have to manually move our steered axle to the right steering limit. So in the tractor you would move your SCV until your steering mechanism is all the way to the right and you're going to select set max right position. Then you're going to move it all the way to the left and do set max left position. And then you'll center it back up and you're going to select set center position. The center position setting is really critical to your accurate line acquisition and operation. So Driving the machine and implement forward while you're setting the center position may be required for the proper calibration of this position. To verify that you've got your center position calibrated correctly, set up and drive a straight track and when your error reads zero, then you can go ahead and set center position to verify that you're at the center position uh, of your guidance line. So next we'll go through the SCB threshold calibration. So anytime active implement guidance is installed on a different tractor, you should do an SCV threshold calibration. If you don't complete it, the steering mechanism may steer significantly faster in one direction or under or over steer or just not perform as expected due to hydraulic limitations by switching that around. So we'll go ahead and select our setup soft key and then we'll select SCV threshold setup. You're going to need to be driving at least 0.3 miles per hour with your selected SCV and auto when doing this calibration. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select our correct SCV from the drop down here. So for this instance, SCV1 is correct. And then we're going to select valve test and valve test extend on. So once we have it here, we're going to adjust the extend threshold value to the lowest possible setting that still produces a steady consistent motion with your steering mechanism. If your sensor voltage doesn't change significantly, you need to increase your extended threshold value. If the sensor voltage moves quickly or erratically, you'll need to decrease your extended threshold value. Then just repeat this uh, as required until you obtain a smooth constant change in your sensor voltages. So then we'll go ahead and select valve test off. You'll go to valve test retract and do the same thing. So like I said before, adjust your retract threshold value to the lowest possible setting that still produces a steady consistent motion. If you're not changing significantly, increase your value. If it's changing too quickly or erratically, decrease that value. It's also important to note that after your calibration is complete, it's important to measure your guess rows for your, to check your implement performance. So with your implement lowered and in working position, verify that you've got proper performance before actually using active implement guidance in the field, just to get the most accuracy that you can. So from here we'll go ahead and go set up our shared signal. So if we hit our main application controller menu and go to implement steer setup, this should already be enabled, but just double check here. Share signal, shared signal is enabled. If it's disabled, then you're going to have to have that same level of accuracy back on your implement. So typically when using these systems, we want to share that signal back from the tractor receiver to the implement receiver. From this page, we can also adjust our implement GPS offsets. So if your receiver is offset on the implement from center, uh, you can adjust that here. Center would be considered the middle of the planner and right above where your seating depth is, or your seating drop location is. And then we've got steer control setup. So you can adjust your wheel angle sensitivity in here, and then the requirements for engaging your active implement guidance. Typically, you'll leave that on auto track on as well. 
In order to verify your center position calibration being set correctly, basically all you need to do is set up and drive a single straight track. Uh, when your track error reads zero right here, uh, you can select your set center position and that'll verify that your center position is set correctly. So thank you for watching and that's the basics on setting up an active implement guidance on an application controller in a Gen 4 display.